Let's talk about this. <coughs> the generational smash hit movie Borderlands. Nice. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> is, because I know all of you have been sitting at home. It's oh. like, when can I watch this again? Good news for those of you. You're going to be able to watch it on home digital in two days. I'm finally going to see it. On August 30th. No, you're not. <laughs> Stop lying. Just because it's your birthday doesn't mean you get to lie. No, but Logan will want to watch it. You won't want to buy it for 20 bucks, though. That's fair. You'll probably wait till it gets on uh, one of the streaming services. It but it comes to home digital. I get on my birthday. <laughs> What's Spawn Barland? It's good shit. <laughs> and for those of you who are going, wait a minute. Didn't this movie just come out? Yeah. This movie is hitting home digital three weeks after it came out in theaters. Uh, to be specific, three weeks and two days. 23 days after it debuted in theaters. Listen, I, I said going into the movie, first of all, I'm a big Eli Roth fan, so I was cheering for Borderlands. But even I said, as somebody who was cheering for this movie and wants to see Eli Roth succeed and think Kate Blanchett is my, maybe the second greatest actress of all time and, you know, all that kind of stuff, I was cheering for it. But I said, the trailers have been flat. They have not worked and nobody's going to go see this movie. I didn't realize how much nobody was going to go see this movie. Many, many nobody, a plethora of nobody <laughs> went to go see Borderlands. This movie in three weeks at the box office has made $25 million worldwide. $25 million worldwide on a $120 million budget. This is going to go down as one of the biggest box office flops in Hollywood history. Because that $120 million budget doesn't even count the marketing budget, which I believe the marketing budget was $30 million. Well, that's half of what I thought it would be. So that's about still, 150 million. Yeah. And that 25 million, they don't get all that back because the theaters keep about yeah. seven or eight million of that. So really, they've made about 18 million dollars on a 150 million dollar spend. It it is truly astounding. And then what did they do to compound their stupidity? What did they do to try to right the ship? They said, you know what? While word of mouth is at its worst, let's put it out on home digital right now. <laughs> Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7 percent of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code campia checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash campia and use the code campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. You... Racking morons. As when the word of mouth, because I guarantee you, word of mouth it will die down three months from now. I, I think you put this out on home digital three months from now. There's gonna be a lot of people going, you know, I heard a lot of bad things about it, but you I mean how back? Let's let's check it out. Right now, the word of mouth is at its peak neg negativity. <laughs> and now is when they want to put it out on home video. By the way also continuing to damage the movie theater industry as a whole because again this is yet the latest movie to continue to try to train the audience to not go to the movie theaters they are conditioning the audience to know oh 
This movie will literally be out in theaters in days or will be out on home video in days. So by doing this, not only number one, are they shooting themselves in the foot because they're putting it out on home digital at the peak of its negativity, but number two, they're continuing this self-destructive, dare I say suicidal trend they have of conditioning the audience to, you don't need to go to the movie theaters. We're going to put these out, like literally by the time you can, you know, go on your visit to see your mom and come back, it'll be out on home video. So, I mean, Chris, the um, the sheer amount of stupidity, not just that went into the movie, because it's not a great movie. I didn't think it was the worst movie of the year. I think there are three or four movies I can think of that I think are worse, but it was terrible. And now they're continuing their stupidity outside of it. Anyway, mm -hmm. coming out in two days, what do you think about the move? What stands out to you? Are they hoping for a Madam Web streaming sweep kind of situation? Because again, that was something that we all waited till it was free to watch on yes. Netflix. Yes. Uh, it just shows that the studio does not believe this movie is good at all. I, I mean, from the jump, it felt this way. The marketing campaign felt super off. It felt like they were marketing very late. It felt like what they were doing was pretty tired and done before. This felt very, uh, we have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy at home, right? This felt a little like Kirkland brand Guardians of the Galaxy every time they tried to pr like promote this movie. It never felt like Borderlands. It never felt like its own thing. And I love these games. I can't speak to the actual film because I did not go see it after all of you were like, no, you don't need to. <laughs> mm. But I really enjoy the games and it's such a, a shame. Um, I just, I feel like there were so many missteps here and I feel like dumping it on streaming and trying to get people to buy it while everyone is talking about how it's such a dumpster fire is a terrible move. Who's going to get this except for maybe me after I have a couple cocktails and go, I mean, I might as well. Maybe that's what they're banking on. A lot of all of us Christmas babies, <laughs> all the Christmas bad decision kids, we're going to watch this movie maybe after a couple drinks. <laughs> Guys, question is for you. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, Borderlands is going to go down as one of the greatest box office disasters of all time. And now it's leaving theaters, but going straight to home digital just three weeks after it debuted in theaters. Are any of you planning on getting it? I, I, I'll be surprised if there are. But whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.